Four people were killed and at least five were injured before a gunman was shot dead in a shootout with police in Santa Monica on June 7th. One report described the gunman as white or Latino carrying an AR-15 military assault rifle, shotgun, handgun, and an ammunition belt. The series of events began when neighbors said they saw the gunman shooting at a house on Yorkshire Avenue, which erupted in flames. Two bodies were later found inside. The gunman then forced a woman in a blue Mazda to put his bag in her car and drive him to his destination. He fired a few shots into the neighborhood before getting into the passenger seat. As they drove down Pico Boulevard, the gunman partially exited the vehicle at least once to shoot into the street. At the intersection with Cloverfield Boulevard, he fired shots at a transit bus, injuring several people inside. The gunman later fired rounds at a red Ford Explorer, causing the vehicle to crash into a low wall. The driver was killed from gunshots to the torso. He fatally shot another woman outside the Santa Monica College Library before entering the building, where he continued to randomly shoot at people. City and college police later gunned down the suspect and laid him down on the sidewalk outside the college, where he succumbed to his wounds. Authorities say the entire ordeal lasted about 10 minutes. The gunman's motives are still under investigation. Thank you.